Grab your foam roller coming to lie supine. Brace your abs and take the foam roller under your tailbone, hugging your non-dominant, not as tight leg in towards your chest with one hand, keeping the other hand on the ground for stability, sliding your dominant tighter leg out long, bracing your abs, making sure the heel is connected to the floor so the leg isn't hovering in the air. This is the opposite of what we want if the leg is in the air because we're trying to stretch out the front of the thigh and hip flexor. Point the toes here, actively reaching that leg towards the bottom of the mat. Watch out when you do this for the leg that's extended hip dropping down and the other hip hiking. Try and pull the leg you've lifted up into passe or knee flexion, try to pull that hip down towards the bottom of the mat to even your pelvis out and to keep that stretch straight on so that we can really get into the hip flexors without moving into an imbalanced, uneven position. Two more breaths here. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. One more. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Slide that leg that was lifted out long, bringing the other knee in, hug it in. The leg that's lifted, guide that pelvis down towards, or that hip down towards the bottom of the mat. Don't hike the hips. So think about your side body and your obliques, your side abs lengthening. Brace your abs, make sure the leg that's extended, the heel is on the ground, the toes are pointed. Breathing here, just opening up the posturally tight hip flexors. Using your breath, bracing the abs as you're working here. Let's breathe together. Four more breaths here. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Great, one more. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Last breath before we slide it out. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Let's slide that leg out, bending the knees, both feet on the ground. Brace your abs, exhale your air out. Inhale, pick the pelvis up, sliding the roller now down below the knees, or under the knees rather, so it's comfortable. From here, we're gonna alternate lifting one leg up just a few inches so it hovers up from the roller. But before we lift, I want you to do pelvic flexion. So I want you to tuck your pelvis under like a scared puppy and flatten your low back into the floor. You'll lift one leg up so it hovers and we'll hold it up. Begin with your stronger dominant leg coming up. Hold it up, inhale one, breathe, exhale one. Inhale two, we're staying for four breaths, exhale two. Inhale three, Exhale three, keep the puppy dog tuck. Inhale four, exhale four, lower that leg down. Switching sides. Tuck the pelvis, flatten the low back into the floor, low belly firm, pelvis even. Hold it up, inhale one, breathe. Exhale one. Inhale two, exhale two. Inhale three, exhale three. Inhale four. Exhale, lower it down. Now, if when you keep that puppy dog tuck and your hips are even, you're not feeling your low abs, you can move into more of a neutral pelvis. This is level four. It's possible your abs have gotten conditioned to the point where you no longer need this pelvic flexion to really find the lower pelvic floor. So what is neutral pelvis? It's somewhere between rounding and arching your low back. Let's try a set here. If you feel the front of the thigh, the groin area, the hip flexor activating, then you're not ready for this. You need to go back into that puppy dog tuck. Take the leg up, hold it up. Inhale one, breathe. Exhale one, fight for that neutral pelvis to find the abs. Inhale two, exhale two, imprint your back into the floor. Inhale three, point the toes. Exhale three, inhale four. Exhale four, lowering that leg down. So if you noticed you were gripping in the thigh or groin, go back to your puppy dog tuck. If you were able to feel the abs, and the abs only, then it is time to stay with that neutral pelvis from here on out when we're doing this exercise. So lift that leg, the other leg up, switching sides, hold it up. Inhale one, breathe. Exhale one. Inhale two. Exhale two. Inhale three. Exhale three. Inhale four. Exhale four, lowering that leg down. 
From here, we'll slide the roller off to the side, grabbing our red TheraBand and our big stability ball. Coming to sit on the stability ball, holding the red TheraBand as we would a jump rope, throwing the center of it around our back, so around the shoulder blades, I'll turn around so you can see, and then wrapping it around the knuckles with the palms facing up. This band is here, not as resistance of any sort. It's here as a reminder. I want you to puff your back ribs and shoulder blades back into it. I want you to keep your arms lifted, palms facing up to the sky, shoulders plugged down, wrist below the shoulders though, so we don't pull on the front of the shoulders. I want the upper back engaging, so back ribs, shoulder blades are pressing into that band. Chin is lifted, gaze is higher than eye level. Legs are together, we're seated with the legs together. Let your inner thighs pull back so you're on the top of your sits bones. Here we go, inhale, prepare. Exhale from our rib cage, we're gonna twist. Two, three, four. Notice the head goes along for the ride. Inhale, prepare. And exhale, we twist. Two, three, four. Alternating sides, inhale, brace the abs. Exhale and twist. Two, three, four. Inhale, prepare. And exhale and twist. Two, three, four. Inhale, prepare, brace your abs. Exhale, twist. Two, three, four. Inhale, pelvis grounds down. Exhale, inner thighs pull back. Inhale, you puff the back ribs and shoulder blades into the band. Exhale, you keep your gaze up higher than eye level. Inhale, pelvis pulls towards the floor. Exhale, low belly pulls in and pelvic floor muscles lift up. Two more sets. Inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. One more, inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Setting the red TheraBand to the side now, picking up your red loop band to bring it around your outer thighs. With the red loop band around your outer thighs, we'll sit on the stability ball, sit profile to you, my hands are on my hips. I'm gonna walk out to where my upper back and head are supported on the ball. My legs are hip distance apart, perfectly parallel. My pelvis is up. You can play around with that puppy dog tuck if you feel your thighs working too much. If you were able to use your abs when we were lying supine with that roller under our knees and maintain a neutral pelvis, perhaps it's time to fight for the neutral pelvis here, somewhere between arching and rounding the back. We're gonna walk back up to a seated position. Now, if you, if you wanna tuck your pelvis, that helps with the spinal articulation on the way up. If you wanna to try to maintain neutral pelvis, that's gonna be even more of a challenge, but give it a go, this is level four. Once you're seated, use your exhale to let your inner thighs pull you back down. And then use your inhale to ground and feel your pelvis pulling down towards the feet as you walk back up. Keep that going. Exhale, walking out. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, coming up. Two, three, four, five. Going at a slow, steady tempo so you're building strength, not using momentum. Keep that going. Just another 15 seconds or so of walkouts, building up the strength in the internal abs, perhaps feeling a little bit of the glutes and the hamstrings, the abductors of the legs, the lateral hamstrings with that band around, but it's a lighter band because I'm wanting you to find and recruit the muscles without the assistance of the band to tell you where you're not working. Brace your abs once you come back up. We're gonna come onto our hands and knees, putting our forearms onto the roller for a forearm plank. This is level four. By now, we should be holding a plank, bracing our abs. If you have back or knee issues, just keep your feet hip distance apart. If not, the feet can be together like you have one giant leg. Go ahead and come up into that plank. We'll be here for one minute. If you need to come down, you can always go into cat and cow. I'll show you that, but please do not come down unless you are feeling discomfort in your back. If you are, I would advise you to try to pull your abs in and use your exhales to lift up on the lower pelvic floor. My cat and cow looks like this. Good arch on my exhale, round on my inhale. So that's the breathing if you're doing cat and cow. Arch on the exhale and round on the inhale. I'm gonna come back into the forearm plank, but if you need to come down, you come down, honor your body. Holding it, we just have 20 seconds left. Let's breathe. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four. Five, puff your shoulder blades up towards the ceiling. Firm the belly in. 
Keep reaching long through the heels and out through the crown of the head. Lift the chin a little bit. Take your gaze higher than eye level. Don't drop the chin. Plug the shoulders down. Exhale, slowly lower the knees to the floor and drape your body over the ball. Five breaths here. Inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, relaxing, and exhale, two, three, four, two more. Inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. I lied, you got two more. Inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Last one, inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Great job. 